What's up everyone, this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United transfer news and speculation. I'll be doing a lot more of these videos going up to, well leading up to the January transfer window and there's been a lot of speculations over the last couple of days which we'll get to but as always guys, if you guys have been following me for, for several months at least, you guys know that I tend to Every now and then, I tend to pick up comments from my previous video related to Manchester United and its transfer news and I tend to read it out and have a bit of a discussion before I get into the main body. But today, before we get into that section, we've got news around a wonder kid a potential transfer, Jude Bellingham. We've got latest on Mario Mandzukic, Mandzukic transfer to Manchester United. Um, we've also got Nemanja Matic transfer news as well. But before we get started, um, if you want to get involved, just make sure you hit a comment on this video as soon as it's uploaded. And the next video when I upload, I'll pick up the most appro appropriate one, give a bit of a shout out and then head from there. Um, but if you can, let me just zoom in. So the first comment, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I'll read it out anyway. It comes from Monday Oaken, and that's in regards to my latest uh, video that I did a week ago, I think, where the head scout apparently watches um, Erling Haaland play. He says, I will be grateful if Manchester United will buy Haaland, Bruno Fernandes and Madison. It's a bold statement, buddy. Uh, all three are viable, I think. Um, Haaland, there's been a bit of speculation. He was... Um, away in holiday according to Oli when pressed on although that didn't sound very convincing um, so there's been a lot of speculation in Haaland there's been an apparent uh, what 20 million pound release clause a lot of clubs are after him his club Salzburg are not playing until February now I believe so there there can be potential movement there um, he will leave Salzburg eventually I'm not sure where he'll go but let's hope he's, he's to unite he'll be a very viable signing for us um, he can play the number nine role very well. Yes, we have Martial, but I reckon we've got so many games. Martial's still young. He does go out, you know, injured at least a couple of the months of the season. Haaland and Martial can play in the same team. Uh, Bruno Fernandes and Madison, as always, I think it's one or the other. I don't think we'll be able to sign both of them. Madison is a United fan. He's a great player, playing very well for Leicester. He'll cost a lot of money. I'm not sure United will be after him eventually. Bruno Fernandes, he's been amazing so far again this season. I know over the summer a lot of us were saying we should have gone from him and we still should have given our midfield performances we can't just unlock defenses you know so i think bruno fernandez will be a viable option but i don't think it's going to be in the january transfer window i believe all these signings bar highland is probably going to be in the summer but on to the main thing main news which is this teenage sensation for those of you who do not know jude bellingham he is an uprising star coming through the ranks of i believe birmingham so Here's what the article reads from Telegraph. Birmingham midfielder Jude Bellingham is a Manchester United's next teenage target after pushing forward with a deal for Erling Haaland. Haaland is wanted by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in a high-profile move, but Bellingham has also been followed closely by United this season, with assistant manager Mike Feeling watching him against West Brom last weekend. So this is what... The rest of the article is, is just the same thing, rehash. If we go to his stats, Jude Bellingham stats, you can see on the screen, if I just zoom in a little bit more, he played 19 games for a 17-year-old to play that many games is, is well done, which means he's doing something right, where he scored 20 games in total. He scored two and made one. He is a central midfielder. He's more of an attacking central midfielder. Um, and yes, we do need someone like that. And someone who's that young and to come in, we can easily mould him to a player that we want to fit into our system. At the moment, we need a creative central midfielder. We need a deep-lying central midfielder. Because as I feel, McTominay and Fred are probably not a good good players. Don't get me wrong. Especially Fred, he's come out very strong recently. But are they world-class? Are they the type of players that can take us to the next level? bit of an iffy one and with United 
you know making headways uh, around youngsters only talking about youngsters and the vision of the club and also talking about well the signings we made were british players jude bellingham does fit the profile but in on in all honesty apart from seeing him in football manager i haven't really um seen him play i've just heard about him he's good he's good talent coming through young english talent hungry coming through um so let me know your thoughts in the comments below have you guys seen him play if so, what is he like? What would you best describing him as? Um, is he a Frank Lampard tile or is he a all action um, Steven Gerrard or is he a sort of like a creative spark, the drive of Paul Scholes? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, we have a news around Nemanja Matic. So we all know Nemanja Matic. Let me just close these windows. Um, he's not had a very good, good sort of season. He's been out for most of the season, but it seems like he's not very much in contention. So this is what the Express is reporting. Manchester United are not willing to offer Matic a new contract when his deal runs out in June. Um, Sport understands that Matic is facing the axe at Old Trafford as he has struggled to feature in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's plans this season and has only managed seven appearances in all competitions. The midfielder has already attracted interest from Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid but Tottenham boss Mourinho appears to be the most keen on landing him in the January transfer window. So that's the latest around Nemanja Matic. Let's have a look at his stats. So here you go, that's Matic. He's appeared seven times so far in the season. He is a defensive midfielder, although he's not a very good mobile defensive midfielder. Um, and he's just done one assist so far. Yes, fair enough. He has sort of, um, uh, with the with the injuries has affected him but you can see even in last season you know he's he's gone past it when Oli came in he wasn't featured that much I think initially he was with the midfield three of Pogba, Mat Matic and Herrera but now it seems like he's fallen out of uh, love for Manchester United um, I think he needs to move on and get changed and I'll be very surprised if we offer him a new contract who which runs out in June mind you in January he's free to talk to teams so he's got six months remaining as of january um so he's free to talk to any club and Mourinho is the one that bought him in he's the one that made him in chelsea as well um he trusted him a lot they have a very good relationship um Mourinho and matic and i'm not surprised that Mourinho might want to take him back and to have a bit of a stability and experience for Mourinho and be sort of Mourinho's boy, you can say, on the field. Um, but that's Matic's latest story. Um, I hope we don't give him a contract. It'll be nice to cash in on him. I think he's past it. Don't think he can do anything for us. Um, he's not very good enough for a top six Premier League team anyway, even though we are eighth. Um, but he's not very good for us anyway. Um, how is he going to get into a team? What impact will he make? Um, so that's the news around Matic. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you feel... Um, we should let go of Matic and if so, do you feel that we should replace Matic with someone? Uh, because that would leave our midfield very light, isn't it? Uh, you've got McTominay, Fred and Pogba as our recognised central midfielders. Um, Ghana is still young, Pereira is inconsistent and but he's not a central midfielder, is he? So three central midfielders, it's a bit light if you know if you ask me i think if we do let matic go i think we are gonna make a signing but let's see um on to the last bit remember M <laughs> mario manzucic so um there was strong rumors uh going around that united were in for him to sign him let me just zoom in a bit more um but according to sky italia mario manzucic has arrived in qatar ahead of, ahead of completing a move from juventus to al duhail According to Sky Italia, the 33-year-old Ford is set to go under set to undergo a medical and sign an 18-month contract with the Qatari club. Manzucci has not played in any competitive games for Juventus since Sari was appointed head coach in June. So, bit of a given. You can see he's, he hasn't ever, even appeared, and for us to be even linked to him is a bit of an offense to me personally, to a lot of you guys, because he doesn't fit anywhere with us. He's old. He's he's aging. He's gonna take up a space some wages he's going to take up a transfer he hasn't appeared in any game so far this season he moving to qatar would probably is a big paycheck for him before he retires because let's face it he probably has a few couple of years tops in him left at top level at least 
and um, you know going to that side of the world is pretty much a last sort of big money contract move um, get a bit of um, get a bit rich before you retire you can say but I'm glad we he's he's gone now he's that speculation can end and I don't want to see any sort of this type of players in anywhere around United especially if we're gonna build youth if we're gonna play fast attacking football um, there's a lot been going on at United which I'm not going to discuss in this video because it's purely transfer video but I hope to do another video during the week where I discuss the problems with United at this stage in almost the end of December we're languishing in 8th um, but these are the latest Manchester United transfer news and speculation let me know your thoughts in the comments below as always guys get involved make sure you comment and I will pick up that comment where it's appropriate and read it out and give you a bit of a shout out because it's all about networking it's all about supporting small youtubers and that's always been the case with me um as always guys this type of video i'll be doing a lot more going forward especially building up to the january transfer window so you see most likely daily transfer news and um by the time it's uploaded it'll be around 3 4 p.m british time UK time I do record them earlier I do have a nice solid two weeks of work lucky me um, but so I'll do a bit of recording in the mornings and so you can see a bit of sun sunshine in the background um, but by, by the time it gets uploaded it, it is dark um, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next upload and, and as always stay far